This is Graham Mango. It's a very productive tree. You can see that it has a very compact, dense growth habit. We keep our tree uh, probably right around 12 feet. Easy to keep it at that size and delicious fruit. In 1932, the USDA introduced Graham to Florida from Trinidad. Graham is a seedling of Julie mango, and both varieties are well known throughout the Caribbean. Graham is a moderately vigorous tree with a dense growth habit. It's easy to keep this variety under 12 feet. But no matter how big your Graham tree is, thinning some of the branches each year and occasionally cutting the most vertical branch from the center of the tree will make fruit picking easier. Graham is disease resistant and very productive. For those who live in Florida and would like to grow their own Julie mangoes, consider planting a Graham tree instead. Graham does much better than Julie in Florida. Things we look for when picking Graham include the fullness of the fruit, brown stems, and subtle yellowing of the skin. So here's a gram that dropped from the tree. And what we can learn about picking gram is that you need to pick it green. It's starting to lighten up a little bit, uh, but also, you know, go for plump fruit. And so I actually like to eat gram a little bit before it's ripe. So it's especially important to pick it green. So let's get a box and pick a few grams. So this particular one you can see is, is lightening up here. Uh, stems very brown. So that's an easy choice. A lot of these could be picked, but this time in the season, it's nice to have them on the tree as long as possible. So it's not quite as light as the one that dropped, but darn close to it. This is another one's plump and starting to lighten up on this side. Very, very plump. Let's get a few with the pole too. Now this is uh, it's what I just picked. It's lighter here. Both very plump fruit. I got the whole stems with these, but those were, both were ready to pick. 
Gram fruit usually ripen in June. The skin color of ripe fruit is typically yellow with a slight pink blush. Gram has a flavor similar to Julie, but in Florida, Gram produces much bigger fruit and many more of them. The fruit has very little fiber. Its rich flavor can become strong and unpleasant if the fruit is allowed to become overripe. In fact, if you are using one overripe gram and 20 other mangoes in a recipe, the overripe gram can ruin the whole recipe. As you might suspect, this happened to me when I was making a double recipe of mango bread. Shortly after the mango bread incident, I considered eliminating my gram tree. Then a guy who was working at the farm introduced me to underripe gram. They are delicious. Now I eat gram about two days before full ripeness. Tasting evaluations rate gram as good to excellent.